Do you want this by the side of the bed or over your head? Not this morning, love. It's my time of the month. What are you going to do today? Oh, I'll finish that lot out there. Why? What are you going to do? Nothing. Oh, what's the blouse for then? To stop me being arrested for indecent exposure. You know what I mean. You're only going to work, you know. Don't start. What you want for tea? I don't know. Fish, meat, cheese, quiche. Fish. What sauce? Without the bone sauce. <laughs> I hope you don't do that too often at work. We don't have that many blokes sitting in bed eating cold flakes at work. Good job. Nobody get the no claim bonuses process. Don't know how many times I have to tell you, but I don't do car insurance. Oh, the half and home then. No sugar puffs this morning. I'll get some today. Gonna to use the car. Mm, I'm only gonna do that lot out there. Okay. See you later. <coughs> Mm, if I've got one, so will half the fellas at work. Well, I'm not changing again. I've got time to call in at Lee's at lunchtime. I might, why? I'll get me half a dozen 180s for the video, will you? Money. I'll charge it. OK, if I have time. I'll see you later. If you wait here for long enough, mate, we'll be having a January sale. Oh. Uh, just curious. Oh, uh, just with living, girl. Uh, Paul Collins. For over three, five hundred. What's the score here? What do you do, then? A bit of this, a bit of that. <laughs> Between things, at the moment. This your line, is it? Here's your missus. Arguing, have you? Why should I have been? Why does the sun go down in the evening? And what did you find out? Nothing. Not a dicky bird. Even offered to sell me one. Really? Didn't have a gas one by any chance, did he? Well, why not? I've been cooking on that thing. Want tea? Uh -huh. Got to do the deed this morning. On the lift into town. Oh, mm, please. Still in his dressing gown, he was. Well, he obviously doesn't have a job to go to. Nothing to do with it. I'm up and dressed. Uh, yes, dear. 
But he obviously doesn't have your standards or breeding. Oh. You're in one of those moods, are you? Yes, it's called humor. We used to use a lot of it once. Can't see much use for it at the moment. I'm sure Lucy would agree with you this morning. She's not still sulking, is she? Well, I hardly call it sulking, Paul. You get over it once you settle in. I think it's more than that. Why? I don't know. I, I just feel it. Oh. I'll have a word with her tonight. You've been saying that for the last four weeks. Well, why don't you speak to her then? Well, I've tried. But it's very difficult to have a conversation with someone who refuses to converse. If you think she's difficult, try that Johnny out there with the cookers. You don't think there's any boy trouble, do you? <laughs> with her attitude. More like the lack of it. There's something, though. I just know it. Oh, well. Better get down and sign on. It's coming. Hey, Frank, Scav here. Yeah, not too bad. Look, I was wondering, do you have a six millimeter bit? Yeah, I did have, but I lent it to someone. Oh, great. Look, uh, do us a favor. Drop it off for us. Oh, Petra's got it. Oh, can't Irene wait for the gas man? No. Oh, okay, mate. Look, I'll be right over. See you in a bit. Bye. My God. She must be here somewhere. Did you see that dinner? No. Well, she can't stay out far away forever, can she? Tonight, when Mummy picks her off.
She's still not back. Okay. Look, you've got the number. All right, we'll just ask her to give us a buzz when she gets back. Yes, Gavin. Her husband's smart, Sam. Huh? Finished? Yeah. things out there, do you? Why, well, got any swaps? I trust they're not hot. Well, it's only a job. You don't have to do it. No. But you enjoy it. But I enjoy it. <laughs> At least you're honest. You're the first one I've met to admit it. What's the score? Renovation. People buy new cookers, leave their old ones. 300 new, 65 reconditioned. Here. Look, whoever did this place over wasn't looking for a cooker, were they? So why don't we just stitch to the relevant issue, eh? Like, wherever you like when it happened? Probably looking at their previous job. Finished. The coffee? Yeah. W.A. Oshawa, Cars, and Kingston. Kingston? Engineering and flour milling. Just a moment. Take it easy. And you say these four houses, um, five, eight, nine, and ten, are the only ones occupied at the moment? They weren't occupied. They wouldn't have got done over, would they? Yeah, that's right. I didn't know where these folks next door work. Or those across the way. You're the one who's paid to be nosy, not me. Although he could give you a run for your money. He's never got his nose out of his bloody window. That is Mrs, is it? Mrs um, Collins. It's got to be, hasn't it? Better go and have a word. Oh, one thing. You didn't notice or see a small white van on the estate this morning when you went out? No, can't say I did. Why? Oh, nothing. Just something someone else mentioned. Look, I don't have to keep this place in his mess, do I? Yeah. Till CID a bit to brighten the place up with some of their white dust. Any day now, eh? Hello? Hi, pet. Yeah, this morning. Look where you been. No, no, I, I didn't mean who with. It's just... Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, look, uh, I won't be needing those videotapes now. No, listen. You sitting down? Because I've got some relatively bad news. Well, you'll be making a full list for the insurance anyway, I suppose. Right. Come on, old girl. No sense brooding. It's done. Why? Why us? Oh, not just you, Mrs. Collins. The old close has been done. Common enough on these new estates. People out all day. They're getting quick before people get a chance to put decent locks on their doors. Organised crime, eh? Possibly. Why do people do such things? Well, if we knew the real answer to that one, I'd be out of a job. They say all the houses have been burgled. All the occupied ones. Even number five over there? The, uh... Grants. Grants? Yeah, why? Oh, nothing. Just curious. Oh? They're a right mixed bunch round here. Oh, Paul. Well, so they are. Caught one of them in here the day we moved in. While your stuff was here? Uh, no. Skylarking about the empty house. Or so they said. Place in a dreadful mess. Wouldn't surprise me if he didn't have something to do with it. I... I don't think so. Don't you? That's your trouble. Too trusting. Look what happened to the Royal Albert Teapot. I'd hardly call that a great lapse of trust. I didn't even know. There's a wide boy at the end there. He never seems to do a stroke of work. <laughs> See the stuff coming into his house. God knows. What a society. You, uh, 
Like to know what's going on, do you, sir? Keep an eye on things, like. Can't help it with that lot out there. Uh, but you didn't have to notice a small white van on the estate this morning. No? Or know where either of your neighbours works? I don't want to know, thank you very much. Would you like another cup of tea? Um, no, I'm afloat as it is. And I just want to pop back and see if CID have come up with anything over at number 10. Before or after the break-in? God, I don't know. I don't know what's happening anywhere anymore. Bloody marvellous, isn't it? They throw me on the ruddy scrap heap and treat it like God, like dirt. Bloody statistic. I'm doing the best I can. Moving house, Lucy's school. Oh, I know how she feels. God, Anna, once you've hit the rocks. Hey, your name's Carvin McGovern. What's it to you? What's this? Oh, shit. I've got to go and see friggin' Hazelhurst again. Oh, I've got to go and see Rawlins. No. Yeah, don't you? Yeah. Oh, let's forget it. Oh, brilliant. I'm up on our, on our backs tomorrow. I'm going now to get it over with. All right, so I'll meet you at the gates, OK? OK. I don't suppose you know the serial number of this video? Not off and no. And the missus keeps all that sort of thing. New or second hand, was it? Upstairs as well. Yeah. Come on, love. It's not that bad. God, it's not your fault. I'm as much to blame as you are. I work for an insurance company, Gavin. Anybody should have had it source. Oh, come on, we wouldn't have got insurance for other stuff down there anyway. We lost a bit of stuff. We'll get some more. Probably how we got it in the first place. Hey, I was only joking, love. Trying to raise a little smile. What's our local PC pod going to think if we stay up here too long? Hey, I'm, uh, sorry about the fall. About, you know, the usual. You used to... It's what comes of having such a sexy wife. Hey, fancy a quickie? Give PC pod something to write in his notebook. Hmm? Sod it. Well, stay up here, then. It's only a bloody break and not the end of civilization as we know it. Gavin. What? Oh, come on. Shit. Shows. I wanted to see you without your bodyguard. I don't need a bodyguard. It's you. And? 
I want you to leave me alone. Permanently. Why should I? Oh, you go, you broke me fast! No, I haven't! One of the benefits of a private education, don't you know? Learning to use one's resources to the fullest! <laughs> if I can do this once, I can do it again. So I think it would be sensible if we agreed never to speak to one another. Fair enough! But agree! Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you'll find someone else to amuse you in no time. Oh, and if you should bother me once more, I'll really show you how good I am with this. Understand? I hope you do. You awake? Oh no. What's the weather like this morning? What time is it? I haven't got my watch on. Are you in the mood? Yeah, depends what time it is. Oh, it's 7.30. You think they'd have left us the alarm clock, wouldn't you? They obviously don't have to get up in the morning. Mm. Self-employed. Hours to suit themselves. Do you have to do that? No. We're going to be late. I know. <laughs> What's up with you? Oh, must be the time of the month. Why? Are you complaining? No. So long as you make the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girl. Hey, you better get your skates on. It's past eight. <laughs> hey, the bog has even took the flipping kettle. Had <laughs> to use the pan. Hey, come on. It's not the end of the world, you know. Isn't it? Hey, of course not. Hey, you're more bound to be more upset this time, aren't you? What with the breaking and all, but. Football. It'll happen next month. Yeah. Well, you know, not exactly next month, but it's bound to happen, isn't it? You've been saying that for 18 months. Well, lots of couples have trouble having kids. Flippin' heck, you should know that with all the books and magazines you've read about it. Well, it just takes time. And what if it doesn't? Oh, it will. Well, what if it doesn't? Oh, don't start that again. Well, what am I supposed to do with myself working at an insurance company all my life? Yeah, you won't go anywhere if you don't get your bum out of bed. Well, what if it never happens, Gavin? Oh, look, it will! Watch it! Watch it. Oh. I've uh, made a list for the insurance company. Would you check it to see if I've missed anything? This is what I can't understand, can you? Mm? Burgle the place, yes. Perhaps even vandalise it. I could understand that. But this... 
downright evil, if you ask me. It's more like a good sense of humour, if you ask me. I mean, how did they have the time? Oh, face so and so's. I'd say that was a clue. You should tell the police. Tell them what? About that. I mean, whoever it was must have known how to erect them pretty well, judging by the amount of time you took. Oh, there's not much point telling that out anything. Do you know, they practically told me they wouldn't make any effort to find out who did it. Oh, you didn't quite say that, Roger. Not having much hope of catching them amounts to the same thing. They're only human. They'll probably concentrate on things they have some hope of getting results from. Mm. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We're already late as is. And whose fault was that? Mm. Not complaining, are you? I would like you to check the list before we go. Oh, can't it wait till tonight? I want to put the claim in straight away so we can replace things. Oh. It's called cash flow. Thought you'd understand that. You might overlook something. People don't often miss whatever it is until they go to use it weeks later. Well, I hardly think we're in that enviable position, Heather. I mean, what we have is usually within arm's length. Please. And, um, have you made up your mind what day we'll take off for Christmas shopping yet? No. Well, time's pressing on. We don't need a day off. We can do it at the weekend. We can't! I can. The only day I'm taking off is to look for a dress for the Law Society dinner. We don't need a day for that, surely? I do. Oh, you've missed off the security locks you were supposed to be fitting on the back door. No, I haven't. They're up here. Oh, no. It's gone. All the cheek. <sighs> Stop it, Gavin. Oh, come on. There's no point in having another row, is there? No, is there? Look, look, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's hard for me to understand. Well, it's about time you made a bit more effort, then. Oh, I do, honestly, but... You know, it's hard what I know. When you know it'll happen. Oh, for God's sake, Gavin, is that all you can ever say? You don't give much friggin' chance, do you? Look, I'm about I'm sorry. Hey, there's no point having another shouting match, is there? Oh, God, Petra, what else do you want me to do? Well, you could go to the doctors with me for a start. Oh, don't start that again. Well, you asked me what you could do, why wouldn't you go? Because there's no point, is there? I mean, what do they know? Damn sight more than you. Ooh, language. Well, why wouldn't you go? Because there's no point, is there? Huh? How do you know? Because I know, OK? Look, it's just stress. You're getting yourself worked up about it. Well, the doctor can tell me that, can't he? What's the matter, Gavin? You frighten they'll find something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with me. I think there's always been kids in our family. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah, we're all still waiting for you to grow up. Well, he asking, eh? What I mean. Anyway, he was telling me the story about this fella he used to know over behind a bluey. Well, his mate goes on holiday, doesn't he? So we asked him to keep an eye on the place while he's away. Well, it's sound, isn't it? Until about three days later, two blokes pull up in a van. Straight out they get, through the front door and walls out with a three-piece suite. So we want his mates out like a bullet right. But the fellas tell him that they come to be opposed to the suite while the others are on Aldi. So we let him take it away, didn't we? But they were robbing it. Yeah, but that's not the funny part. The funny part is, they sounded so convincing that they let him take his away as well. Yeah, well, at other times I might find it funny, but I'm a bit short of sense of humour at the moment. You've been turned over, man. It's happened to people before, you know. Not to us, it hasn't. Well, it has now. No amount of threatening's going to change that, you know. Oh, and I'm supposed to forget all about it now? Just one of those things, is it? Oh, you know what I mean, Mum. No, I don't, Barry, I don't. I don't understand why it happened, who do it and why us. Now, that might sound stupid, but that's the way I feel. It doesn't sound stupid. Well, don't carry on as if I am! I don't know, I remember my poor mother, God rest her soul, always going on about being poor but honest. Well, that did sound stupid. All the years we lived on that place, we've only been in this place five minutes. 
I mean, what have we got that's worth anything? What did we have, I should say? We had the gas fire, Mum. Look, it's insured, isn't it? That's not the point. Well, it gives us an opportunity to make a few bob, doesn't it? I mean, we don't know what we had in there. They don't know. Just had a few things onto the list. Steal from the insurance company, you mean? It's not stealing, ma'am. Oh. Well, what is it, then? Look, all I'm saying is don't get yourself into a state. Don't get myself into a state? The house has been burgled, your father's on strike, and it's three weeks to Christmas, and you tell me not to... Damon! Carol, it's half past eight! Are you giving me a lift or what? What are you worried about? Sometimes, Barry, I worry about you. Look across the road. Quick, get in. A pet. What? Well, do you really think we should see the quack? I'll give us a kiss and it's a deal. <laughs> I'll pick you up after work, okay? Okay. Watch yourself. in summer, eh, lad? We would, if we knew when the summer was going to be, Jonah. Well, we know it's not in December, don't we? Jonah, listen, son. That's why all the wage negotiations are held in the winter. Cos the boss thinks if he's got you out there in the cold, it'll weaken your resolve. Talking about resolve, man, they're about to join the Brass Monkey Division. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Just in time. Oh, See you, you boys, just yeah. in time. See you later, Bobby. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. See ya. I'll see you tonight, Jonah. Oh, I'll see you later. Six thirty sharp, lad. I always am. <laughs> all right, all right, sorry. Didn't expect a special delivery today. It's half day closing. I thought I'd get them out, you know, in case he does a stock check this afternoon. Go ahead then. Just the Ingersolls. What about the chubs? Well, you're only phoned at ten. You know, miracles take a bit longer. Is it then? No, sir. It's, uh, it's the one across the road. But it looks like a nice one anyway. Yeah. Get this one to get it. And move over, Sir Alfred McAlpine. <laughs> Big deal. How to start a multinational in one easy lesson. We'll rip off your raw materials. It's how industry regenerates itself. Those from the bottom take from those from the top. Yeah, I grab all of that. When I'm up there, some piss artist is gonna be creaming it off me. Natural redistribution of wealth. 
Well, it's only going sax anyway. Well, some would like to make that choice themselves. When's he want to finish by? As soon as I get that car like you promised me. Well, when do you need it? First week in January. And how are you going to manage that? By working myself into the deck. How's your old fella's place doing? They're out now, aren't they? Yeah, he's on picket today. And that's a place where it's the other way around. Those at the top ripping off the ones at the bottom. So your old fella reckons. And your 2,000 out with him. Bollocks. They're only out seeing as your old fella told them to go out. Well, most of them want to stay in, don't they? Banging up the reddies for Christmas. Yeah, that's because most of them don't know what's going on half the time. And half of them don't know what's going on most of the time. And you're beginning to sound like your old fella. And that's something else you'll have to watch when you become Sir Barry Grant. The unions. Only if you try and screw them, to. Which you wouldn't. Which I wouldn't. Then they'd screw you. Well, it's that sort of world, isn't it, Barry? I'll be seeing you anyway. Ta-da. See ya. like another satisfied customer. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody is. We're worried about property values, are we? That's one thing I haven't got time to worry about. Do you want something to eat, Bobby? 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 I'm sorry, Liz. What's up? I'm just looking at the roof of the road there. Oh, I could see that. Well, I don't think it's right. We're outside the factory gates trying to squeeze a few extra bob on our wage packets. <coughs> Save our job. You've got the likes of him bugging about over there. Well, if he gets away with it, good luck to him. That's not the point, Sheila, is it? Well, I don't see that he's doing anything dishonest. Oh, isn't he? Well, I bet the council don't know he's running a bloody business from his front garden. Oh, where's the harm in that? How much tax and national insurance do you think he pays? Well, whatever it is, it can't be as much as we pay. It's hardly worth me doing that job. Exactly. But if he, if he was an honest trader, you wouldn't have to pay so much because you wouldn't be paying for the likes of him and all the other crafty buggers like him. And like your own son, remember? Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Anyway, I didn't come home to discuss the national economy. Where's the tea bags? And I didn't come home to go shopping at Tesco's either. I didn't think you had much choice. Why not? I could have went to see Jonah and the boys, couldn't I, to discuss the ongoing picket situation? Well, what was the great attraction at home, then? What do you think? I think... you're not on. Why not? The kids will be home from school. They'll be at least half an hour. We haven't done it in the afternoon for ages. Well, uh, not since our Damon was born, probably. Our man can only wait so long, you know, kid. And let's be fair, 14 years is a long time. <laughs> <laughs> What's Give over. Anybody would think that was the last time. Do you know, I thought you agreed to go to Tesco's too easily. Mm. But I didn't think I was going to get caught at the bacon counter, did I? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, quick half hour? What if the kids come home early? Well, I'll put the snip on the door. Oh. Come on, it'll help me to take your mind off things. All right. Ten minutes. Get up there, lady. Who's that? Leave it, they'll go away. It might be important. Well, they'll come back. Oh, they might be selling something. Go on. 
Listen, it's one of them sales you just get shut of it quick. Mrs. Grant? Yes? I'm from the insurance company. I believe you've had a break in. Oh, yeah, come in. Bobby, this is... Uh... Oh, no, I heard. Uh, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, no, pal. Only a 14-year-old dream. <laughs> you nearly had me there. <laughs> All right, Gav. Yeah, In okay. the doghouse again, are you? Never heard of it, mate. I know the feeling. I'll see you later, anyway. Yeah, good luck. That I don't it's care. It. It's just not good enough. Twenty years we've been paying you. Twenty flaming years, and now you try and fiddle us. Mrs. Grant, I can assure you. No, Robert. you can't. You've just said it's Sheila. in the policy. Sheila, hold it, love. It's not his fault. Oh well, whose fault is it then? Because I don't work for them. He should point these things out. He only took over when we moved in. It was up to oh, the other end. Typical. Agents. Pass the flaming parcel. Yeah, well, I thought these might come in useful to the funeral you're all obviously going to. If there's going to be any funeral, it's going to be his flaming robber. That's so. I've just been working the insurance claim out with Mr. Uh, sorry, Mr. Green. I've worked it out to £470. Each worked it out to £235. It's the principle of average. It's all in the special conditions, standard in all policies. You what? Because we haven't insured everything for what it's worth, they're trying to knock something off the claim. They reckon we should have had all the contents insured for £6,000, and we never. We only had the contents insured for 3000 so they only want to pay half the claim now. But it kind of comes to three. It came to 470 It's got nothing to do with the value of the claim. It has to be proportional to the insured risk. I, you had, in effect, only insured for half your goods, so the company will only pay half. I mean, Really? It's got nothing to do with me. It's company policy. An insurance policy, you might say. And I know what you're thinking, so there's no need to say anything. Well, that's Steph all done, is it? I'm afraid so. Oh, dear. Anyway, thanks for calling now, Mr. Green. Oh, eh. Uh, no trouble. Uh, you will want to increase the cover and the index link. Yeah, but not just at the moment. All right. I'll be seeing you then. Good night. They don't laugh at you when you're down, don't they? And the bloody kids didn't come home after all. Cheer you up. And ta da! <laughs> you deserve it, don't you? Oh, we've made an appointment for us. Oh? In next Tuesday. Bloody National Health, I have to make five days' notice to be ill. You don't mind then? Of course not. Hey, thanks so much. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Good evening. I'm interested in buying one of these cookers. Are you? Do you know anything about them? Do I look as though I do? Well, you live next door, and I was wondering if you'd tell me if they were reliable look, or not. Look, uh, do you have to trample all over my garden? I'm not trampling, I'm just standing here. I don't care. Just get off my garden and go away. That's it. That is it. What is? That, that cowboy next door, cluttering the place up. Locking up our drive, trying to ram us this morning. Oh, look, I hardly And now he's... he's got people wandering all over our property asking me to take orders from him. Aren't you overreacting a little? Am I? I've told you it'll get worse, Heather, and it has. Well, not for long. There are ways of dealing with these things, and I intend to do something about it. What are you going to do? Fire off a letter. To whom? Never you 